So when it comes to Keir Starmer, not many people like him. And as usual, I'm not just saying that because it's the fashionable thing to say. Like everywhere you see on Twitter. It's just people saying how nobody likes Keir Starmer. But I gotta tell you, looking at this approval chart, it has got to be one of the worst that I've ever seen. Because it says that Keir Starmer's approval rating has reached a new low of minus 38. And it says that that is down 49 points since his post-election high. And if, like myself, you'd rather look at charts than read text, all you gotta do is just take a look at this chart down here. Because you can see before the election, he wasn't exactly the most popular politician. I mean, to be fair, he is a politician, so none of them are really popular. But you can see he went into the election campaign with a positive two. So it really is the case that it was not about popularity. It was basically just that people didn't like the Conservatives. It wasn't that everyone like really got behind Labour and everyone just decided to vote for them. Nobody liked the Conservatives. And then after the election, I mean, it really just goes from bad to worse. You kind of got that honeymoon period, as they say, where it went from positive 5 to 11. But since then, whether it's grandma freezing, dealing with the riots, going silent about the Manchester airport fight, maybe it's all of the cringe spending like the £22 billion for Ed Miliband, or maybe it's just the fact that Keir Starmer, maybe he just doesn't have what it takes. And then we've got these two tables to look at as well, where it says that the public has given the government a D-. minus. And obviously that's not good. There's basically one above an E. And it goes on to say that 7 in 10, or 71%, think that the government has not made much or any progress. So 71% of people think that they've basically just done nothing. Which I, I would have to agree is pretty much correct. And stuff like bringing fresh ideas, they got a T- minus for that one. Running the country competently. Remember, these are meant to be the adults in charge. You know, th these are the grown-ups. They were meant to fix everything, but they got a D- minus on competence. And then you've got the results from the Labour voters as well, where they do, I mean, as you can see there, instead of a D-, minus, the Labour voters give it a C+. Plus. But it is kind of nice to know that after all of their talking through the election, even the people who voted for them, they really, like, just like ourselves, they really don't like the Labour Party. And if you enjoyed this video, with information and statistics on screen, Rather than everyone else who will just read an article and ask you to take their word. If you enjoy content that goes the extra mile, then you've really got to become one of the 52,917 subscribers. This country has gone crazy.